Hi there. This is Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy. And something we commonly see patients coming into or getting referred from other doctors about is tinnitus or tinnitus. Uh, that's just the term used for a sound in our ears, often a ringing or a roaring. But I wanted to specifically talk about pulsatile tinnitus in this video. What pulsatile tinnitus is, is when we hear uh, basically like our heartbeat sound in our ear. So I tell patients all the time, it's a wonder we all don't hear our heartbeats in our ear. Our carotid artery and the beginning of the jugular vein and something called the sigmoid sinus that feeds into the jugular vein are very, very close to our cochlea, which is our hearing organ within our inner ears. So as blood flows to our brain, it has to come through a sharp 90 degree bend right at the, basically right near the cochlea. And sometimes we're just hearing the blood flow past that turn. Maybe there's a tiny amount of plaque that gets deposited in those vessels over time. So most situations, pulsatile tinnitus doesn't mean that much or isn't that serious, but that's just most of the time. There are times where pulsatile tinnitus can be a sign of more serious issues or problems. There are things called arterial venous malformations where there's abnormal connections between arteries and veins which causes a high vascular flow which we can hear. So that's something that uh, we like to evaluate and rule out. There's a type of tumor that can grow in and around the inner ear called paragangliomas, specifically one called a glomus tympanicum or even a glomus jugulare and they're both types of blood vessel related tumors that can form in the inner ear and sometimes those can present only as you're hearing your heartbeat in your ear. So pulsatile tinnitus typically involves a little more thorough workup than just the standard tinnitus uh, that many, many, many people get when we start to lose hearing. And I've done other videos on tinnitus or tinnitus uh, in the past, but this specific type of pulsatile tinnitus often requires some imaging studies to help rule out the presence of any bad things. Uh, an MRI is helpful in many circumstances and CTs or CT angiograms are helpful in other circumstances. They each have uh, those two imaging studies each have their pluses and minuses. Some are good for finding some things, some are better for finding other things. So if you have pulsatile tinnitus there may not be a ton we can do for it but it probably should be checked out and worked up, not probably, it should be checked out and worked up by an otolaryngologist uh, to be sure there's nothing else more serious going on. Hope that helps. Uh, Brian Heberlin here, Lexington ENT and Allergy. We're happy to see you for your pulsatile tinnitus or any other ear, nose, or throat problem that you have. Thank you.